hello everybody welcome to my channel okay this is the question and we are asked to find the values of the lettered angles that is we are asked to find the value of y and the value of x okay now how do we go to get that for us to find the value of y and x find x and what y this is how it goes okay now this is a very simple question it's a very simple question you notice that there is what these two lines are parallel let me explain something to you when you have two parallel lines like this okay and you have a transverse across that parallel line you are going to form different angles you are going to form different angles and one of those angles is uh, alternate angles okay let's start with corresponding angle for example if you have a to be here and you have b to be here there is this theorem that this a now is equal to this b that means if a is 20 and b is b is also 20. now what is their reason when you look at it notice that these two angles they are in the same position okay these parallel lines now which means that these two lines no matter how far you draw it it will not they will not meet okay that is the meaning of parallel lines <clears throat> So when you look at it, you notice that this A is corresponding to B, okay? Because this A is on top of this parallel line and on the left-hand side. The same thing with B is also on top of this particular parallel line and also in the left-hand side. In fact, if you cut this and carry this and put on top of this, this and this will be on top of each other. So they are corresponding and they are equal. That is the one, number one type of angle that is formed in, is in something like this, okay? excuse me then another type of angle that can be formed is vertically opposite angle as we have here to be c there is this law also that a is equal to c why vertically opposite angles are equal so this and this they are vertically opposite so they are equal okay notice that if you want to draw a straight line they are vertically opposite to each other so they are equal it means that if this is 20 this is also 20 that is the second type of angle that can be formed in what? In a transverse, in something like this. Now, the third type that can be formed is called a, an alternate angle. Now, how do you get that? That alternate angle is uh, trickish, but this is how I know it. When you draw a Z, a Z, to cross these two lines, for example, you draw this Z like this, like this, okay? So let me bring them out. As mean here is y and here is x. This is what you have. Here is your y and here is your x, okay? There's, these two angles are alternate. Notice that they are formed at the tip, the pointed ends of the z, okay? They're not saying that your y is equal to your x because they are alternate angles. Now, these are the three angles you will see whenever you see two parallel lines in a drawing. And we have such parallel lines here. See, this arrow and this arrow showing that these two lines are what parallel so you look at this our diagram you notice that this angle and this angle they are what they are parallel do you understand sorry this line and this line are parallel because of this arrow they are they they draw on them now having gotten that i want you to relate whatever we have discussed to what i'm going to show you now so we are asked to find x and y we can easily get our x how let us draw that particular z i told you let us draw, draw the z notice that if you draw from here up down and up again you are getting a z with the two parallel lines so you are going to have something like this 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 Okay, this is 35 degrees, this one here, and this is our X. Is that telling you anything? You see what I told you? Because the, you can get something like this from here, it means that 35 is equal to X, and they are what? Alternate angles. So once they are alternate angles, they are equal. Okay, so we can now write that our X is equal to, our X is equal to this 35, is equal to 35 degrees. What is the reason? Alternate angles alternate angles are equal okay we have gotten our x okay if you have followed me to this level it means that you enjoy what i'm doing please hit that, that subscription button subscribe so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video okay no once you subscribe try to hit on the notification bell click on it so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified all right thank you very much 
when you have something like this now we have gotten our x to be equal to 35 you agree with me that the remaining answer is very easy because it's y see what we have now we have this drawing this is our x this is our y and this is what 25 degrees but we have found our x to be 35 right so if our x is 35 now know that y plus 25 plus 35 supposed to give us 180 degrees why because they are angle inside what inside a triangle the sum of angles inside the triangle is what 180 degrees so we can easily get our y like that so we can now write that y plus this 25 plus this x that is this y plus this 25 plus this x this triangle is what i'm considering now okay it's supposed to give us 180 degrees all right so we have that y plus 25 plus our x is 35 is equal to 180 degrees so y plus 25 plus 35 will give us seven um 60 degrees right plus 60 is equal to 180 therefore our y is what 180 minus 60 which will give us what 120 degrees see you next time bye